welcome in to another past issue magazine for crochet i have got here issue 16 of the crochet now and this was released in june 2017 at that time this was five pounds 99 for the issue Um, now it's seven pounds ninety nine, so it's actually gone two, gone up two pounds in the five years. So this is um, one that was sent from Dodo Dixon to me as a happy mail because there's something in here that I would like to make. <laughs> so I was like, oh yes, please. So saving from the landfill goes into my fill as it were so it is a crochet now let's get into it um like i said it is issue 16 one at six um let's get past all the advertising um advertising 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 there was a um freebie magazine that came with this that I've actually already put in the giveaway cube um, and that is um, Amigurumi Safari Animals of a Giraffe, a Monkey, a Lion, a Zebra and an Elephant. Um, they're already in. So let me, oh I like that, I know it's an advert but that's quite nice, I like that free ball band pattern well unfortunately I'm not going to be buying any colour wheel but I know it's an advert but I really like that not really like it but I like that I like that I mean I wouldn't make it because I have no need for a poncho but still still okay first pattern is Lily's Sunset Blanket and it's by, by Veronica Cromwell And there it is. Inspired by lazy evenings spent soaking up the last of the sun, Veronica's blanket is a celebration of ombre hues. She's used a DK and a four millimeter hook. It's beginner friendly. And she's used Starcraft Cotton Classic DK. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten fourteen balls all together each ball is 92 meters per 50 grams and is 100 percent cotton and this measures approximately 85 centimeters squared including the border so you're basically making the blocks i don't know if you're going to say that's a clearer picture or not but there it is in its glory as it were oops sorry for the bang um they've used v-stitch pico and raised double treble front raised double treble front wow uh, there is a chart involved with the pattern as well next is the sunrise shawl this simple stitch pattern shows off the gentle ombre of the yarn perfectly to make for a chic wearable wrap. So another ombre, and this is by Sharon Murphy. Um, a DK is used again and five millimeter hook, beginner friendly. And she's used Wendy Evolution One Ball, which is 600 meters per 150 grams. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And this shawl is approximately 70 by 120 centimetres, approximately. V-stitch has been used and so has the shell. And there is a chart included. And there is a close-up of the stitching. I like that. I like it. I'm a shawl girl anyway. So, you know, as in making them. I wear them when I can, not right now because 
it's not one of those days it's not one of those days um but i i like that i like that next is the wild goose chase throw by esme crick based on a classic quilting block called flying geese esme's throw is a stylish addition to any home she's used an aran weight and a six and a 5.5 millimeter hooks it's for the adventurous crocheter she's used line brand heartland uh, six seven eight nine ten eleven balls uh, each ball is 230 meters per 142 grams and 100 percent acrylic and this measures approximately 100 by 136 centimeters There you go. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Not my taste, personally, but it's not bad. There is a layout diagram with it and a colour chart to help you out. Four colour grannies. I can't even show you that at all because of, um, uh, let me see if I can try, I can try and show you, they're just showing you how to make one of those. Taking the idea of multicoloured blocks one step further is easy and all with minimal ends to weave in. Result. Um, so they show you how to join as you go, which is really nice and easy. And then we come on to the thingy that I kind of like, which is on the front cover, modelled by somebody else. But this is the Bird of Paradise cardigan by Sarah Dennis. This pretty garment is made from motifs joined as you go in a freeform style where you pick and choose the next motif you want to make. So they've used a four ply and a three millimeter hook and they're saying it's for the adventurous. They've used Scapier's Whirl four ply, one cake, and bear with me because I'm going to sneeze. Only just caught it. Sorry. Okay. And now the air smells musty around me. Um, <laughs> The one ball is a thousand meters per 220 gram cake, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. And this is the smallest sizing on here is 71 to 76 centimeter chest. And the largest is 132 to 137. Well, that's me out then. But you can do closed flower, half closed flower, open flower, half open flower. Wouldn't a half open flower be the same as a half closed flower? But still. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And there is a schematic that goes with it as well. And there is the back. Okay, I like it. Next, it's going to be difficult because I've got to show you it and then take it away so that I can read it. Because otherwise you're going to see through the page, which is difficult. So, this is Scarlet the Macaw by Hugh Metcalf. Whether you're after a colourful friend to brighten up your desk or you've got some mini pirates in need of a first mate, Scarlet's a feathered friend to everyone. Okay. And they've used a DK and a three millimetre hook. They're saying it's for the adventurous. They've used West Yorkshire Spinners Airvale DK. Um, one full ball and then very small amounts of one, two, three, four, five other colours. Each ball is 230 metres per 100 grams, 100% British wool. And this guy is approximately 16 centimetres tall. 
There it is. And there's a chart to go with him too. <sighs> Interview with the designer. And then a pattern for a geometric triangle blanket by Marianne Decaruse. There we go. Marianne's cool modern blanket design looks just as fab in monochrome as it does in a flurry of colour. She's used Aran and a 5mm and 4mm hooks, beginner friendly. The yarn used is DMC Natura Just Cotton Medium. 7, 12, 13, 13 colours um, for the black and white, 13 balls to do the black and white one. Um, and if you want to do the full colour one, then she used 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 colours. Holy cannoli. Um, each ball is 75 metres per 50 gram ball, 100% cotton. And this is approximately 85 by 95 centimetres in sizing. And there is a chart to go with it. I like this. I like this. I like this. Parakeet Feather Shawl by Zoe Patrak. With its arced shape and feather like pineapple stitch design, this delicate lace shawl really is like your own pair of wings. She has used a DK and a four millimeter hook saying it's for the adventurous and she's used louisa harding amitola three balls each ball being 250 meters per 50 grams 80 percent wool and 20 percent silk this is approximately 130 by 65 centimeters when fully outstretched they've mainly used v-stitch and two treble cluster and if you want a, a closer up of the stitching, there you go. Lots and lots and lots of chains. I like it. And there is a chart to go with it too. Can I show you that? Yes, I can. There's another look for it. There you go. advertising okay next is the free spirit waistcoat by mickey hempfill 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 hold it further back for you just a little bit mickey's use of texture perfectly showcases the gorgeous color changes of this shade of karen cake making for a must-have design for summer festivals She's used Aran weight and 5mm hook and she's saying it's for the adventurous. She's used one Karen cake for this, but the sizing can call for two. Each cake is 350 metres per 200 gram ball, 20% wool, 80% acrylic. And she's got it down as um, UK sizing, either a 6 to 14 or a 16 to 18 sizing. Triple treble crochets are used, puff stitch, bubble and stitch space. All abbreviations in the patterns. Um, so that's that. Next is the Kingfisher Summer Blanket. Nice, nice. Um, this is by Sharon Murphy. This fun ripple blanket calls to mind one of the most colourful of British birds, the Kingfisher. She's used a DK and a 4.5mm hook and she's saying it's beginner friendly. She's used Rowan Cotton Glacé or Glace. I'm guessing it's Glacé but they haven't got the accent on the E. 
24, 25 balls all together. 150 meters per 50 gram ball, 100% cotton. And this is approximately 106 by 190 centimeters before the tassels. And there is a chart included. If I turn this round, and I'm very careful, I might be able to show you it in its full. There you go. That's the full lot. Wow, busy, busy, busy. Okay, so they're crochet along in summer of 2017 was the vintage sweethearts so um this is the second part i believe it doesn't actually say i'm guessing oh no it does say the second installment read lisa read <laughs> so yeah they're, they're doing this particular blanket back in 2017 and wow, what a blanket. Wow, what a blanket. I mean, busy, busy, busy. In a sense, you're going to think this is weird, but I like it. In a sense, I really like it because there's a lot of different things going on. You can't really get bored making it. But at the same time, I really don't like granny squares, so it's not my thing. But I like the blanket in the sense that there's there's all sorts. There's, there's so many different bits and pieces that are happening. So there's that. And there's a chart to go with it. And a colour chart as well. And we have advertising. Okay, next we have... We don't even have a designer for this one just a just a company so this is Anana's tea sweater this sweet top from Bajira de France is perfectly unfussy making it a must make for girls aged 4 to 12 they've used a DK and a four millimeter hook and they've said it's a two out of five difficulty chart reading required so they've used Berge de France Aurelis um, between three and six balls. Each ball is 145 metres per 50 grams, 77% acrylic, 18% tensile and 5% polyester. And again, it's for between four and 12 years of age. Um, over a number of stitches divisible divisible by three plus two for the chain plus one for the start of the first row that's not a special stitch is it is it i don't know there's that poor girl needs a top underneath like for real there's a schematic there's a chart there's two charts and the schematic wow Okay, so I'm going to have to, again, show you and then take it away because they've, they've done everything on the opposite page. So, Flamingo Cushion. This amazing design uses colour work in a new way, making a fabulous flamingo from Puff Stitches. So there we have a Flamingo Cushion. And now I'll tell you all about it. Read all about it. Read all about it. Flamingo cushion to go crochet. It is by Sylvia Margaret Designs. She used an Aran weight and a 5mm hook. And she's saying it's adventurous. They've used Rico Creative Cotton Aran. One, two, three, four, five balls. Each ball is 85 metres per 50 grams and 100% cotton. And it is approximately 35 centimetres in diameter. So there it is again. And there is a chart to go with it. They've used puff stitch, bubble stitch and crab stitch. So there you go. 
There you go. <laughs> More flamingos. Flamingo Baby Mobile by Bowie and George. This cute idea makes a great gift for a new baby and can be dismantled when little one is older so they can still play with these silly pink birds. They've used a DK and a 2mm and 4mm hooks. They're saying it's beginner friendly. They've used Signet Cottony DK, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 balls, each ball being 111 metres per 50 grams. 46% cotton, 46% premium acrylic, 8% viscose. And it doesn't even tell you roughly the size of them. It just says one size. Not one love, one size. Doesn't really help a person out, does it? They are however big or small you want to make them. Um, they've used millinery stitch which I haven't heard of when making up the mobile use a millinery stitch technique where a double thread is put through the needle and the fold of the thread is at the bottom go in and out of the fabric through one stitch and when you pull the thread almost through pass a needle through the loop oh which will secure the thread this can now be used to attach the pieces together that's how I sew usually I didn't know it actually was a thing though <laughs> I had no idea now this is quite funny well not funny in a <laughs> way but I was um, I had on my Amazon wish list an Amigurumi book and here they are preaching about the book which is 20 to crochet crocheted baby shoes by Val Pierce which is this one and I now have it they're so cute they are so cute each month we're expanding our literary horizons with a new yarn classic this time around we're all in a flap over the most adorable baby booties we've ever seen and at the time of this it was 4 .99. it wasn't 4 .99 when I bought it I don't know how much it was I know it wasn't overly expensive but it wasn't 4 99 but I have this book I don't know if I've given you a proper look at it but I've got the book from the book duckling shoes these adorable birdie booties make for a perfect present for new babies designed by Val Pierce she has used a DK and a 3.5 millimeter hook. She's saying it's beginner friendly. DK yarn has been used. Um, one ball plus oddments of two other colors, you know, the black and the orange. Um, it doesn't even say what yarn was used. It just says a DK yarn. Um, to fit ages six to nine months and the sole is approximately 8.25 centimeters long very 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 cute 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 Ooh. pretty pastels Pretty Pastel Shrug. We love the soft, delicate hues of this design by Rico, a perfectly versatile cover-up for a summer festival. They've used a DK and a 4.5mm hook and is saying beginner friendly. Rico Creative Sport DK was used between 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 balls and three six nine twelve balls and they've also used rico creative sport dk prints um between two four six eight eight balls and three six nine twelve balls depending on your sizing of course they've done sizing to fit bust between 81 and 86 and 101 106 centimeter 
length is 60 centimeters. Each ball of the wool, they're exactly the same, both the print and the standard DK, and they are 290 meters per 100 grams, 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. They've used a cluster and a double crochet below. And they're also suggesting maybe those colours instead, if you want something a little bit more vibrant. I'd go the more vibrant route. That way you don't see the dirt so easily. <clears throat> Peacock Fan Cushion by Jacinta Bowie. There we are. This fun little block plays right into the trend for bird-inspired homewares that you'll find all over the high street right now. Well, maybe not right now, but back in 2017. They've used a DK and a four millimeter hook and are saying it's beginner friendly. She's used Derrimore's Tweedy DK. Two, three, four, five balls. Each ball is 183 meters per 100 grams. 65% wool, 20% tensile, and 15% micro tweed. Uh, this is approximately 45 centimeters squared, and there is a chart to go with it. Adverts, lots of adverts, lots and lots of adverts, even more adverts, more adverts. Oh no. The yarn review, let them eat cake. Yarn review for Line Brand Mandala, Starcraft Candy Swirl, and Sadar Colour Wheel. Doing a review. Maybe I should take notes for my review. Maybe. Um, focusing on a shop. How to read charts, how to read a pattern, learning the basics. And what's in the next month's magazine? Oh, there's one more. Oh, there's one more pattern. Nearly missed it. Catherine's Ombre Clutch. Have to take it away because I can't read it while you're looking at it. This simple clutch bag shows off the many colours of Starcraft Special DK and is a great way to use up scraps. So it's a DK, 5mm hook used. And she says she's used between 5 and 10 gram scraps of Starcraft Special DK in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 colours. And yarn is held double throughout. Um, it doesn't say the size of it. But clutch bag. It's a clutch bag or clutch purse actually I wouldn't call it a bag because it doesn't have a strap but that wouldn't stop you putting one on but that is the last pattern so there's a lot of patterns in here um not a lot of variety let's face it there's a lot more advertising in it than the last crochet now magazine i did the most recent crochet now magazine Hello. The supervisor came to say hello. Um, she came in through the back door, came all the way round, jumped on the bed and just gone out the window to go back to the back garden. Cat is seriously nuts. But I love her. Anyway, so this was issue 16 from back in June 2017 of the Crochet Now. I definitely like this and I'm sure, I'm sure it'd be able to be made to be for bigger people. I'm certain of it. And I also quite liked the, the, the sunset shawl, I think they called it. I mean, obviously that would depend on the, the colours you use. If you used green, it wouldn't necessarily be called a sunset now, would it? But I like it. So that is that. That is all for today. Thank you, Miss Dodo. Thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, 2K race. Did you enter yet? If you did, did you share? Because right now, 
I've still got a long way to go before the 1st of July to hit that 2,000 subscriber mark. And if you don't help out, the giveaway won't be activated. As soon as I hit 2K, providing it's before the 1st of July, two winners will be drawn to win over $300.